One part, a small part, of your property tax bill will be lower this year. Today, Governor Walker toured the state, touting the 50% drop in the technical college system rate. That's real money. And he's promised more rate reductions in his new term that starts next month. But Democrats question if that trade off with other tax rates will be costly for other state programs. Good evening, everyone. In Ashwaubenon late this afternoon, the governor said a typical property will have a lower property tax bill this year compared to four years ago. He claims that if tax rates had continued to increase over the last four years, instead of basically leveling off as they have, a family would have paid $800 more over those four years if they had kept going up. For more on the rate reductions and the possibility of more in the future, Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe has tonight's balanced news coverage. Governor Walker says throughout his re-election campaign, voters asked for more property tax relief. That was probably one of the most um, frequently repeated requests was to help provide property tax relief because it affects working families, it affects senior citizens, it affects small businesses, it affects farmers. Wednesday afternoon in Ashwaubenon, the governor used some posters to explain the changes the state is already making, and he's pledged to seek more rate reductions in his next term. But the state faces a potential $2.2 billion shortage in its next budget, which starts in July. That's if all state agencies receive all the money they've requested. The governor says he'll have his budget ready by the end of January. It's going to be a, another challenging budget, but we're committed to going forward to making sure that we make property tax relief uh, a top priority. And uh, we'll start with uh, this base and then look for other ways to provide even more efficiencies and flexibilities. Governor Walker wasn't specific about when he could be talking about more tax rate cuts. State Democrats question if more cuts are possible. Governor Walker hasn't said how he plans to pay for you know, these promises, whether he will propose cutting school funding or removing families and seniors off of their health care. It's going to be a combination of putting additional resources in for local governments in a variety of different ways, as well as making sure that those resources are used not only for those services, but that we keep property taxes in check along the way. If the governor proposes specific rate changes in his budget, they would still need the legislature's approval. Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. The governor says the law the legislature approved and he signed in March resulted in $406 million coming out of the state's accounts to reduce the taxes that property owners paid.